Hi, I'm the 13th Wolf Bad, and you know what? After, um, after watching the first two seasons of True Blood, I saw that Best Buy had season three on sale, and I had I had like fifteen dollars in in a reward saved up. So it was on sale for thirty five ninety nine for the Blu-ray. And I cashed in the fifteen dollars. So I got this for twenty bucks. Season three. Um and this is kind of a review of what I think of season three. I I'll be honest, uh season three, I, I've had a friend of mine, um A Knuckle. He's from the Dorkening. And he said that, you know, seasons one and two were like his favorites. Like after that, season three got kind of weird and after that, the storyline kind of went left. Um, I like season three. We get a few more characters. Uh, we got Alcide, who is, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you who he is. He's a friend of Eric Northman's, but it, what he turns out to be is cool. And the whole thing about season three is, you know, in season two, you get to meet the the Queen of Louisiana. In season in season two, yeah, you get to meet the Queen of Louisiana. In season three, you get to meet the King of Mississippi, the King of the Vampires, and the King of the Vampires of of Mississippi wants to marry the Queen of the Vampires of Louisiana so that they can can you know bring their two kingdoms together and control like one giant territory. Uh, Sookie is still being Sookie. I swear in this season, I don't think she spends like one minute at her job, which was funny. Um, Jessica is coming into her own as being a young vampire. Uh, Lafayette is dealing with, a. we get to find out more about Lafayette, which is really cool. Sam, Sam finally finds out, you know who he is and what he is and where he's from and who his family is. And this season was like really, really cool. I really liked it. I, I liked the look. Um, I would love to find like a kind of like a online custom custom cover, you know, free custom covers because I like to put all these, all the discs there in here. It's five discs. I like to put them all into like a five disc blu-ray cover uh, a case that have a custom cover made you know so it doesn't take up that much room so one the one gripe I have about box sets like this you know they're they're kinda of big and bulky and the other thing is that this really doesn't deserve to be five discs long it's really weird how they do this on the first disc you get two you get two episodes on the second disc, you get three episodes. On the third disc, you get... What is it? Three episodes. On the fourth disc, you get two episodes, or two or three episodes. And on the fifth disc, you get one. It, it, it's really weird how they do this. They're on Blu-ray. Blu-ray holds, like, a mega amount of space. You can't tell me they can't get, like four episodes on one disc without compressing it making a making the transfer look bad it's just weird it's something it's something i found on like the cable shows that do this it's just i don't know bizarre it comes with uh here's the other odd part it comes with uh dvd digital copies and these are on flipper discs i really thought flipper discs were gone but on the flipper discs, they can fit three episodes on each side. But on Blu-ray, you know, it's just weird. I haven't really checked out all the extras, but again, I am loving this series. Now I need to get on to season four and five and six. Six isn't out yet, I don't think. I might be wrong about that. I don't think the sixth season is out yet. But the seventh, is it the seventh season that starts in June? For all the true blooders out there, help me out here. 
you know, I was at the store yesterday and I saw that the books that these were based on, I might wind up getting a few a few of the books, you know, starting at the beginning, see what they, how they read. But yeah, I would give this, this is like three and a quarter, three, three and a half chainsaws out of four. Three and a half, yeah. Suki is looking sexy as ever. I really got to thank for Anna Paquin, and I think she does a great job in this show. And you know what? Since day one, I've never liked Bill, the Stephen Moyer character. I don't know what it is, but something about him just says, run. Uh, yeah, he's a vampire, but I trust Eric more than I trust Bill, and Eric is devious, you know? So, that's what I think. I want to know what you think. Get down, type it out, make a video, put it in the, put it in the comment section so I can watch it, you know? I'm the 13th Wolfman, I'm on the prowl.